welcome to a day in my life vlog this is one of the first day in my life vlogs i've ever filmed i normally do week in my life so this is super fun i just want to take you along a normal day for me and every day does look kind of different because i work as like a ugc content creator so it just depends on what jobs i have that week or month or whatever but i always start my morning the same and my pjs these are so amazing my sister got all of her bridesmaids these for her wedding so i love these they're so silky i think they're from amazon i always make myself a little coffee i have some hazelnut coffee with hazelnut cream um and cinnamon in my mug and i cannot be happier we have kind of a more chill day i did a lot of work on saturday so today is going to be quite chill i have to go to the gym and then what do i have to do and then food shop after that and later tonight i kind of want to do some fall baking because i'm in that fall spirit guys it's september it's actually almost the end of september which is even more wild and my house at the moment is just full of pumpkin everything like it it smells like a fall wonderland in here so i already did all of my fall decorating and i was kind of like bummed that i didn't just film it for you guys because it looks super cute in here yeah i mean i already did my typical morning stuff and of course my camera died but i did my ice rolling of my face drink some water and then charged up my camera so you guys could sit for coffee time with me i'm going to finish the rest of my coffee and i'm currently working on a bible study from jen wilkin i am in a bible study and that's just what we're doing this month so yeah it's a study of john and i'm just gonna start doing that i have all my gel pens here normally i do something like this in the morning like either journal bible study something that gets me off of my phone off of technology because that's just the way that i like to start my mornings thank you guys for being here and i hope that you enjoy okay so this is sort of a strange lunch but i did grilled veggies and tuna <laughs> i really don't know i'm just trying to eat cleaner more protein and more vegetables so this is lunch before i go to costco i had to show you guys the smoothie because it is just stunning i mean the pink color is on point but i do the same things every time when i make smoothies i use chocolate protein strawberries a banana and then this collagen between both of these i think it's 20 grams of protein plus another 20 so it's like 40 grams of protein in the smoothie but this is for my boyfriend he like always requests them it tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry so i had to show you guys but the consistency is also 10 out of 10 i tried to get fancy with it and add hemp seeds and look what happened they're all over the ground if you ever have time on a monday or like during the week instead of shopping at costco on a weekend pick the weekday because then you actually have like time and space to look around without everyone shoving their carts into you and it just being insane in there like everyone's energy and just like i feel like everyone hates me so i like going when no one's there so like 1 p.m on a monday that's when i like to food shop that's when i like to do my tasks that are in public yeah today is just such a gorgeous day and hopefully i can spend a lot of it outside i just have like a few things to edit today that's why i feel like i'm taking today kind of chill because i did work on a saturday i also might want to bake something a little bit later because i've just been like very in the fall mood to bake and be cozy i'm not really sure what i want to bake yet i don't know if i want it to be like pumpkin-y or fall flavors or if i just want it to be like a funfetti cupcake from target like pillsbury i feel like the holiday ones taste different like Funfetti cake in general is like one of my favorite flavors, but I feel like when they add like a little bit of like holiday flair, it tastes better. It's almost like the Oreos that have orange in the middle or red in the middle for Christmas. Like it just tastes better than an Oreo. I need a sweet treat every single week. Like 
clearly this is like what my mind is on because <laughs> I just know later tonight I'm gonna be like oh, I wish I had chocolate I wish I had something good vlogging I, I need to make things interesting I need to spice it up for you guys so I'm kind of holding myself accountable to bake something instead of just buy something at Costco and like eat it I really need like time away from social media and digital stuff and I feel like baking always helps me do that like it's actually such a life hack if you want to stay off of your phone just put yourself in like cooking mode put yourself in baking mode get inspired in the kitchen and then you you literally can't use your phone so I think that's what I'm gonna do later having ourselves a cozy night. I got the Fun Betty cupcakes for us in the icing and we're gonna make these. Currently my dinner's in the oven so the game plan is to heat up the oven, eat dinner while we're baking this. I'm so excited to make these and I thought we could do a little catch up while we bake because there's a lot that you guys aren't caught up on. Okay, let's get started. I even might have a little glass of wine. I'm working with Wonder and Ivy this month, so. Love this pumpkin beer. It's the Blockhouse Brewing pumpkin beer. I'm not gonna go for that, but that's like been my go-to. And then Wonder and Ivy. I'm not gonna do rosé. I think I'm gonna do a red wine. Because we are just having ourselves a night, so we might as well crack some wine open. I think it's just gonna be me and Lily for the night. Mm, it already smells so good. I feel like we have so much to catch up on because I haven't even told you guys in a couple of weeks from now, Brian and I are going to literally tour new apartments in a brand new state. I know. It's very upsetting to everyone, like my mom, touring places in Wilmington, North Carolina. And it's actually where they filmed, I think, One Tree Hill and Summer I Turned Pretty. Which, if you guys watch Summer I Turn Pretty, I feel like that's like the dream location. Like, I want to live on Cousins Beach so bad. Everything's moving kind of fast because we have to let our current landlord know if we're not re-signing at this house by October 2nd. Feeling stressed, but I'm also feeling kind of like excited. I'm such a beach lover, like, ugh, I love visiting Charleston. It's literally my favorite place on earth. And we were thinking about maybe looking at places in Charleston if we don't like Wilmington. So yeah, I have been keeping this from you and it just didn't feel right. My mom and I are super close, so she's definitely feeling sort of like upset, like she's losing me, but I feel like it would actually be so much fun if she visits, like we can go to the beach and just like do new things. I legit only have two eggs. Okay, we have an emergency because it calls for three eggs and I literally have two. But it also says that we could use one fourth cup of Greek yogurt, but I only have strawberry. I don't know how this will work, but... When we're down there, I'm going to do like a vlog. I don't know if I'll show every place that we tour, but I really want to show you guys like the town of Wilmington because I've been watching a lot of vlogs and like on TikTok and it looks super cute and it looks like... There's a lot of potential to film some cute content there for you guys, so I don't know. I think there's a high chance like we'll be moving there, but I've just never been there, so I feel like it's hard for me to like fully commit just because I'm such like a homebody. This is legit my dinner. <laughs> so taking dinner out and putting in the cupcakes. Say bye to the vlog. Bye vlog. So aesthetic, so aesthetic. I need to show you guys my setup though because it is so cozy in my living room. Like, tell me these aren't the coziest vibes in the whole world. The Cabernet is hitting. The fireplace is firing. By the way guys, like it's 7 p.m. It's like past 7 and it's still light outside. I mean, I'm in my like full PJs right now, but like, don't judge me. I changed in my PJs at like 6 on Mondays. It's, if I shower, I'm going into pajamas. That's just what's happening. But this is dinner. We have salmon, veggies. I do know how this happened. I put it in the sink and then it was like, and it cracked, but it fell inside. This is how the night's going. These cupcakes turned out pretty good. I mean, they're not bad. 
They looked way worse in the oven. This one might be the worst one. These, these slap, I'm not gonna lie. These slap. It's time for the fun part. Oh, why is this icing just so nostalgic? I don't care what any of you guys say. This icing hits different. Sometimes these are just the only cupcakes that I crave. This is a form of self-care at its highest tier. This is my ideal night to spend alone. Like a glass of wine, a healthy dinner, and then just cupcakes or like something like baking, something like that. And then watching just the most comforting show. Like I would 100% rather do this than even like go out to like a dinner to be honest like this is my idea of like a good time honestly probably up until i was 24 i feel like a lot of people that i hung out with just didn't like that like a lot of people liked going out and just getting drinks going to like the most expensive like cool restaurants and like that's fun but i feel like the best nights are always when you're just like chilling at home like unexpectedly having a chill night watching like your favorite movies i'm gonna be so real right now though i don't know what i'm gonna do with all these cupcakes because it's just me and my boyfriend look how much icing we have left guys we're officially almost signing off for the day in the life i had such a relaxing evening it was so nice i'm still just hanging out i watched like three episodes of Gilmore Girls and it's almost 10. <laughs> so I'm trying to like take my makeup off, do my skincare. Before I sign off though, I wanted to show you guys the book I'm reading. I already read, read, <laughs> it's actually weird. I already read Red Queen. So I'm on Glass Sword now and it's definitely not as like, like I've had it for a week and I'm like, this far through just because it's a little slow compared to red queen i like really flew through that and like don't come for me because i feel like everyone already read this book but you know i don't know i just wanted something fantasy if you guys read the red queen series comment down below if you are team cal or team maven because i feel like a lot of people are team maven and i'm like wondering if we read the same book because like i get the lore but i also don't anyhow thank you guys so much for watching and i really really hope that you enjoyed it was honestly so fun to do day in the life normally i'll do like week vlogs or a vacation vlog or something but it was really fun to just take you guys along for my day and to be honest it helped me get a lot done i think just because i had the accountability of like hanging out with you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video